Hi everybody, it's me again. Just wanted to show you the new design of the uh, vertical low ground windmill I designed. It's actually six feet in diameter. Uh, those poles right there are uh, brooms and mops that you get at the dollar store. Very, very light and very, very cheap and inexpensive to actually uh, to get and to buy. And they slide in and out of the holes that I punched in. Like I punched in some holes right here. Uh, as you can see, there's a hole, see? Holes right there, hole right here, hole right there, hole right there. They slide right in and out, slide right in and out of each other. Easily removable, okay? So easily removable. Also too is uh, once you remove the blades off, uh, then you got three bolts down over here, one here, uh, about a screw, two screws, one bolt. This will slide up, the wheel will slide up. That's two pieces, and the motor can stay on the frame, the wood frame right over here. So three pieces, you bring that onto a roof, whatever it may be. By extending the blades out six feet, three feet, that way, three feet, this way, and six feet in total in diameter, what happens is, uh, is there's a... Uh, there's a there's a cogging point there's a point like uh like when you're trying to change a, the tire of a vehicle like if you got a small a small crowbar or a small tire iron a small tire iron trying to crack the nut off the tire it's very difficult very hard to do that right but then if you got a three foot three and a half four foot tire iron or they call it a, a breaker bar. Well, it's way easier. It's very easy to do that, right? That's why they call that a breaker bar because it snaps the bolts off. Very easy. You don't have to get see because you're really, you're right in there really tight. It's like this right here. Me trying to turn this like I'm turning it, right? It's really I got to put some force into it, right? But the farther you are out this way, and then you try to turn it, you can turn it with the one finger. Right? I can turn it with one finger. Now watch, I'll demonstrate that for you. Now, I'm going to do this with my fingers. See, look, I can turn it. And that's how the wind's going to be going. That's how the wind's going to perform. And, and, and it's not windy right now. So, watch that. It will start spinning. See, like, like, okay? So it started to spin. It started to spin. Watch. Okay? But I can't go all the way around. I got the bike in front of me in the whole nine yards. But anyways, but you, you'll know what I'm talking about, right? It breaks the magnetic. It, it breaks the magnetic connection. The magnets in here, right? There's magnets, so it's hard to turn, right? But the breaker bar system that I just found out works brilliant. Works great. There's another gen, there's another gentleman out there on YouTube. He's got a very similar one as what I do, or or I do as his. He's got as the um, I, I believe he's using cloth. He's got the sails. Um, I decided to use it this way because of uh, well, I didn't want to put the sails. I didn't want to have to do some sewing and all that stuff. So I decided just to use buckets, cut them in half. Those are five-gallon buckets. And what I really want to do also too is I want to extend it right so it's double the height, right? So it will catch more wind. And the same way that that connects, right? The same way that same way that that connects. And this will be higher also too, okay? So if you know what I'm talking now about. Now watch this. Let's do a, a little bit of a demonstration here. I got an 18 volt DeWalt battery. And it's going to turn. And there it is spinning. Okay? But that's how the wind's going to be. one right over here. So every time that this one spins around, uh, the uh, it's a 27 so I'm thinking probably every time that one spins uh, once around, this one's spinning, I believe, 13 times. I could be wrong, maybe 22 times. I haven't done the math. But if you know the answer, please tell me, right? But we're going to need some really, some, some really good wind where the wind is shaking the trees. I'd say November, December, January, February, March, you know, May, somewhere around there. And then the rest of the year, well, hey. You know, run your solar panels, right? Run your solar panels. But in the winter time, well, you can do this kind of stuff. In the rainy season, in the windy season, 
well you could be charging uh you know uh, some of your batteries run some lights you can run lights all day and all night long with this system right here okay you can run your computers your laptops your notepads uh you charge your phones now this is kind of like an emergency situation right if nothing goes wrong and it's perfect for off-grid uh motor homes apartments uh hey you got a cabin sheds whatever it may be yeah perfect 